So we talked about the how, so let me show you why we recruit that way. Another diagram. Okay. So this line here represents an on-target performance. And then coming across here, we've got the months of the year. Okay, so in a normal sales role, mid-level sales role, takes normally about four to six months to achieve target. So we're talking about the coaster and boaster. So the coaster and boaster comes in, they've done the job before, they've got experience in that market sector. So they'll get up and running within the time specified. And no doubt probably hit their target as well. Once they've hit their target, they drop down. Okay, and I'm gonna come back to this point in a minute. The rising star takes probably a little bit longer to get up and running, but they tend to peak higher than the coaster and boaster. And I'll come back to the reason why that is in a minute. But they too will drop down below target as well. And these are two areas that I'd like to speak about first are these here. When the coaster and boaster drops below target, what's the first thing that they think of? They think I'm gonna get fired. They think I'm gonna be fired, and as a salesperson, it's not good to be fired. It's not good on a CV, not good for a track record, so they look to leave. They look for another job because they're a coaster and boaster. It's not their fault. It's not my fault I'm below target. It's the company, it's the product, it's the market. We're going through a recession. Yeah, our competitors have got better marketing than we have. All the reasons not to. So they look to leave. What does the rising star think when they go below target? Exactly the same. They think, I'm going to lose my job. The only difference is with a rising star, the rising star thinks, I don't want to lose my job. I love this job. I've got passion for this. I had a strong desire to work here in the first place. So what the rising star does is they trade out of that situation. That's the reason why we recruit this way, one of the main reasons. So, coming back to the coaster and the boaster, if they don't find another job, and a deal they were working on prior may come in, that could motivate them and you know, they can get back up. The difference is here, once they're both back up, the coaster and boaster will achieve on or around or just under their target. They know roughly what to do. The rising star won't. They will achieve more than their target because they don't know how much energy to put in to hit their target. So they just work out at the max. Now if we look at the reasons why the peaks are different between the coaster and boaster and the rising star, the coast and boaster doesn't peak as high as the rising star for the simple reason they know the job, they understand what they need to do. So their effort and energy that they put in is commensurate with the performance they achieve. As soon as they hit target, foot comes off the pedal and they drop down because their effort drops down. With the rising star, their effort is off the scale because they don't know how much effort to put in so they just put everything they've got in all of the time but you know when they hit target they hit the target it's like wow I've hit my target they then too take their foot off the pedal but they've put all this energy and effort into it that they still go upwards after for a while but they will drop down because their effort comes down the difference is when it gets tough they will trade out the situation. Now, we've just gone through quite a, a, a tough recession for a lot of people. Some people it's been okay, but some people have been hit quite badly. The question is, when the going gets tough, do you want someone who's gonna jump ship yeah, or trade out of the situation? Trade out. Okay. That's why we recruit that way.